You're watching Vinyl at Puma Gaming. Hey guys, back with another video, and today I wanted to talk about something that we've probably all wondered at some time or another, and that's simply, who is the Mysterious Stranger in the Fallout games? Now, provided that you've taken the perk, a Mysterious Stranger in a trench coat and a fedora wielding a 44 pistol will come along and help you win your various battles for you. Now, it's pretty unclear who this person is in the games. However, it may be surprising to some of you that other NPCs throughout the games make mention of or are seemingly directly related to the Mysterious Stranger. So today, I figure we could go over some of the lore behind the Mysterious Stranger, as well as discuss who or what he might be. So without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about the Mysterious Stranger perk and the appearance of the Mysterious Stranger across all of the Fallout games. So the Mysterious Stranger has appeared in Fallout 1 through 4 and also in Fallout New Vegas. In all of the games, the Mysterious Stranger appears as the result of taking a perk called Mysterious Stranger. Now, the perk description in Fallout 1 and 2 reads as follows, and I quote, With this perk, you have gained the attention of a mysterious stranger, who will appear to help you from time to time. If your ally is lost in combat, do not expect him or her to be replaced. Now, in the very first two Fallout games, the Mysterious Stranger can be killed, and he won't ever return. It's also worth mentioning that the appearance of the Mysterious Stranger is different in Fallout 1 and 2, and they can appear as either male or female. This is in contrast to Fallout 3, New Vegas, and Fallout 4, where the Mysterious Stranger wears a trench coat and a hat. And while there is a female Mysterious Stranger known as Miss Fortune in Fallout New Vegas, and she has her very own perk as well, it functions differently from the Mysterious Stranger perk in the sense that she appears when the battle isn't going in your favor. Speaking of Fallout 3, New Vegas, and Fallout 4, it's about time we talk about the Mysterious Stranger from those games. In Fallout 3 in New Vegas, the Mysterious Stranger perk is described as a perk that, quote, gives you your own personal guardian angel, armed with a fully loaded 44 Magnum. Now, with this perk, the Mysterious Stranger appears occasionally in VATS mode to lend a hand with deadly efficiency. As for Fallout 4's version of the Mysterious Stranger perk, the player needs to have a luck stat of 4 and be level 49 in order to achieve all ranks of the perk. Much like Fallout 3 in New Vegas, the Mysterious Stranger appears during vets, and with enough perk rank investment, the player can have a chance of having their critical meter getting filled in addition to having the Mysterious Stranger appear. In a certain sense, the Mysterious Stranger as we know it was first seen in Fallout 3. Now, while the visual appearance of the Vault Boy for the Mysterious Stranger perk has appeared in all of the previous games in the franchise, visually, the actual Mysterious Stranger was much different in Fallout 1 and 2 when compared to the ones that we see in Fallout 3, New Vegas, and Fallout 4. Before we continue, I think it's important to mention that according to the official guide for Fallout 3, the Mysterious Stranger's real name is Farmer. However, as we will get into just a sec, it's unclear whether this carried over into Fallout New Vegas. What I think we can say for sure is that the Mysterious Stranger may be a different person in Fallout 1 and 2 when compared to the Mysterious Stranger from Fallout 3 in New Vegas. Granted, this makes sense since Fallout 1, 2, and Fallout 3 all take place many years apart from one another, and it's not really until Fallout 3, New Vegas, and Fallout 4 where the games start to take place within a similar time frame of about 10 years or so. It's also reasonable to speculate that the Mysterious Stranger may possibly be the same person in Fallout 3 and New Vegas, however, it's an entirely different person during the events of Fallout 4. In Fallout 3 and New Vegas, the Mysterious Stranger is characterized as having Asian descent, while the Fallout 4 version looks like a more considerably aged Caucasian male. While it's not 100% concrete, it's heavily implied and highly likely that the lonesome drifter from Fallout New Vegas is the son of the mysterious stranger from Fallout 3 and New Vegas. Now there are a couple of reasons for this, but one of them is that the weapon that the lonesome drifter carries is the mysterious magnum, which can be obtained by the player and every time the weapon is drawn or holstered, it plays the mysterious stranger's theme. 
Otherwise, the lonesome drifter mentions that the mysterious stranger left the mysterious magnum for him when the stranger abandoned the drifter and the drifter's mother. And the lonesome drifter in dialogue even says, and I quote, Ma always said he was a real mysterious feller, even when he was with her, like he was a stranger sometimes. This also points to the idea that the lonesome drifter is the son of the mysterious stranger in Fallout 3 and New Vegas. The Fallout 4 mysterious stranger is being investigated by Nick Valentine during the events of Fallout 4. Aside from some dialogue where Nick Valentine will notice his presence if he appears during VATS, Nick has a document in his office on the mysterious stranger that he appears to intend to solve. This document mentions sightings of the mysterious stranger over time in places like the Commonwealth, the Capital Wasteland from Fallout 3, the NCR from Fallout 2, and Shady Sands from Fallout 1. This document also describes the mysterious stranger as either an amoral lunatic or a prolific serial killer, and Nick's document also suggests that the stranger has some kind of preternatural abilities or access to some kind of advanced cloaking tech, which may indicate that the mysterious stranger possesses some kind of stealth tech that is way beyond what we see with the stealth boys in Fallout 4. I mentioned this earlier, but I think there is more than one mysterious stranger, especially between Fallout 1, 2, 3, and Fallout 4. After all, at least for Fallout 1 through 3, all of the games take place more than 40 years apart. The original Fallout starts in 2161, Fallout 2 starts in 2241, and Fallout 3 starts in 2277. If the mysterious stranger is indeed human, it seems unlikely to me that they would have been able to live for over 120 years from when Fallout 1 starts to when Fallout 4 starts. This idea seems to be backed up by the fact that the mysterious stranger has a different appearance in the first two Fallouts when compared to the latter three. Both the male and female model for the Mysterious Stranger appear to show them in some kind of leather fatigue in Fallout games published by Interplay, while Bethesda and Obsidian developed Fallout games feature a man in a trench coat and a fedora wielding a 44 Magnum. So it's possible there have been several Mysterious Strangers over time during the Fallout timeline. At the same time, the paper note from Fallout 4 that Nick Valentine wrote indicates that outfits the Mysterious Stranger wears can vary. However, quote, most recent sightings describe a large overcoat and fedora. So it's also possible that there could also be just one Mysterious Stranger that is able to morph their appearance somehow, given the situation or circumstances presented throughout the games. And while it doesn't appear in the games, the official guidebook for Fallout 3 specifically describes the Mysterious Stranger as, and I quote, an odd and eldritch entity said to appear and aid you in combat before you draw your dying breath. For those of you that don't know, because I didn't know before making this video, eldritch means that something is strange, weird, eerie, and unearthly. And the word eldritch is also used to describe something that is supernatural rather than something alien. Uh, though I think it's important to mention that we often associate what we don't understand with being supernatural or metaphysical when there may be a technical and scientific explanation. Okay, so now you may be wondering, who is the Mysterious Stranger? While the official guide for Fallout 3 says that the Mysterious Stranger's name is Farmer, we don't know if the name of the Mysterious Stranger is consistent between all of the Fallout games. I also think another important question to ask, in addition to asking who the Mysterious Stranger is, is what the Mysterious Stranger is, because I think it's unclear as to exactly what the Mysterious Stranger is. After all, is the man in the suit a symbol, or is it some otherworldly force or entity that will occasionally come and aid the player in combat? With this said, I would like to discuss what I would consider to be our first option, which is that the mysterious stranger is sort of a superhero-like character that is indeed human, however he lives and dies like the rest of us, only for another one to come along and don the mask, so to speak. As a viewer, I'm not sure whether you've seen Batman Begins starring Christian Bale as Bruce Wayne. However, in this movie, Bruce Wayne says something that I think suits the mysterious stranger from the Fallout games. He says, quote, 
people need dramatic examples to shake them out of apathy, and I can't do that as Bruce Wayne. As a man, I am flesh and blood. I can be ignored, and I can be destroyed. But as a symbol, as a symbol, I can be incorruptible. I can be everlasting. Perhaps Farmer, which is the name of the mysterious stranger from Fallout 3, is simply just a man and is just one of the many mysterious strangers that have been spotted across the American wasteland over the years. When one stranger dies, another takes his place to aid lucky enough wastelanders. If you think about this, this isn't that bizarre when you consider that we've seen a few instances of NPCs adopting a persona throughout Fallout 3 and 4. Between both games, Isabel Cruz from Fallout 4 and Squat Walensky from Fallout 3 don the persona of the Mechanist to either save the Commonwealth or to fight his arch nemesis, the Antagonizer, who is also posing as a comic book villain. In fact, the player character in Fallout 4 can become the Silver Shroud for fun and engage in a questline where they act like a caped crusader, fighting the evil raiders throughout Boston. If Isabel, Scott, and the Soul Survivor do this, I don't think it's that far of a stretch to understand why Farmer or the other people behind the Mysterious Stranger persona would become the Mysterious Stranger. There's also the possibility that the Mysterious Stranger is more than just human. After all, he is described in the games as having preternatural abilities and also being an eldritch entity. This may suggest that the Mysterious Stranger is a supernatural or metaphysical force that randomly assists the player in combat. Perhaps this supernatural force simply manifests itself as a man in a fedora and trench coat with a 44 pistol. In a certain sense, this may explain why it seems amoral to Nick Valentine and possibly the rest of the people in the American wasteland. Maybe it's just a force that simply likes to destroy things and aids those who are lucky. I suppose it's also worth mentioning that what may seem supernatural or metaphysical to the people of Fallout may actually just be technology that they aren't aware of yet. We know for sure that the Zayton aliens have visited and abducted people from Earth during the Fallout games, so I don't think it's too far of a stretch to suggest that there may be other aliens with unique powers, technologies, and other abilities that may be visiting the Earth during the events of Fallout. What may appear alien or supernatural to the people of Fallout may be fairly normal for them. Nick Valentine even mentions that whoever or whatever the mysterious stranger is, that they may have access to advanced cloaking technology, which may explain how they are able to seemingly appear and disappear. So it's possible that there could be some kind of alien stealth tech that is way beyond Robco's stealth boys or the stealth suits developed by the Chinese military from before the Great War. While I don't think we will ever know who the mysterious stranger is in any real significant way, we at least know that one of the mysterious stranger's names was Farmer. We know that Farmer was of Asian descent, and it's highly likely that he had a child named the Lonesome Drifter, who carries a gun similar to his own. After that, it's really hard to say who or what the mysterious stranger really is. Is it some guy donning a persona in order to fight and kill people? Is it some kind of alien that has come to Earth and is helping people fight their battles? Or is it some kind of supernatural or metaphysical force that comes along and fights alongside you just for the sake of fighting? At the very least, I think we can be sure that the Mysterious Stranger is definitely effective as he is both menacing to the player's enemies and pretty memorable to the player as well. But alright guys, that's going to pretty much wrap up this particular video. If you like this video, please be sure to leave a like and let me know who do you think the Mysterious Stranger is and or what do you think the mysterious stranger is leave it in the comments otherwise like this video if you liked it click the bell to join the notification squad and as always take care and i'll see y'all next time